Notice there's no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello and welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and today we're going to talk about the book, Master Your Cash Flow. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, our blog readers and vlog watchers. Thank you for all the people that we've met through these medium. Thank you for all our friends and relatives, and thank you for these authors that have sent us uh, their books to be reviewed. Please watch over all of us, guide us all, direct us all, keep us all safe from all harm. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, I first need to point out that uh, the book Master Your Cash Flow takes a uh, slightly different view of how to handle your finances, a slightly different view of debt um, than what we offer here or than what we um, put forward here. But I think it's important that you see different sides of the issue so that you can make up your own mind so that you'll know what to talk about when you go to see your financial advisor, your CPA, your um, financial management person, your financial planner, your estate planning attorney, uh, and any other professionals that uh, are needed for your specific purpose. Just like we point out at the beginning and the end of this that you should always consult trained licensed professionals before you make any type of decisions. Um, this is just good advice. And that's one of the things that uh, is pointed out in this book quite often is that you should consult with uh, trained professionals in the different fields and that you shouldn't try to do it on your own. And we agree with that, that uh, some people feel like, well, they can manage their finances uh, just by reading a book. And quite frankly, when you're down on this level of poor, down on our level of poor, where you have to uh, save up to go and buy a can of beans, then, you know, maybe you don't need a financial planner as bad as someone that uh, uh, has homes on several continents and that sort of thing. But when you do have money that, uh, to manage, then you probably need to call in the professionals. Now, there's not a probably to it. You need to call in the professionals. Okay, now that being said, uh, this book takes a slightly different uh, uh, approach to debt and in the, his approach to debt. And I'm not going to get into all the different details. We're going to discuss really the merits of the book. Um, but his different viewpoint is that perhaps in some cases, and not all, in some cases, that you would be better off not paying off your mortgage, but using the money that you would be spending on paying off your mortgage early to uh, actually invest and he makes a good mathematical uh, example. He gives some good mathematical examples of how that would work and how that would be best. Again, in this situation, you need to consult your financial management uh, people because there's no one-size-fits-all one um, plan here. You've got to go by what is in your comfort zone and what works in your income and what works with your priorities. And that's one of the things he points out and that's very good. Now one thing, I'm going to get into uh, something else here in just a second, but I want to explain that there are certain words that since my stroke I cannot pronounce. They just, um, I just can't pronounce them. And one is a term for rental agreement when you have a signed rental agreement to um, finance the purchase of something like a car and that word will appear up here on the screen somewhere in just a second but uh, I can't say that word it just won't my mouth can't form it anymore and that's because of the three strokes so that when you hear me say rental uh, know that I mean this word right here okay anyway he talks about a um, that he's going to uh, give you a different view of whether you should rent a vehicle or um, buy the vehicle, finance it straight out. And uh, I was looking forward to reading that because I, I knew the opinions of other people, uh, people like Dave Ramsey and uh, others in the uh, different financial areas. 
And for whatever reason, even though he stated that uh, it was going to be discussed, or at least he stated that he had a different opinion of it, uh, it never appeared. And I was looking for it because I really wanted to find out what he said. Okay, but uh, be that as it may, um, I'm not sure exactly what uh, his opinion of that would be, and I'd love to hear it. I'd love to see it, and hopefully he'll uh, write something on one of his uh, press releases that he sends out, or in the next uh, book that he uh, sends out. Anyway, um, going forward, I have to tell you that this book is very well written. He has some very good, simple, simple mathematical computations. And so it's not something that would be over the head of uh, anybody with like a sixth grade education. So even Jethro Bodin could figure out the, uh, the math examples that he gives. It's uh, simple and straightforward. And I uh, really like his uh, style of writing. He explains everything in great detail. We give this book five stars out of our zero to five stars, uh, primarily because it is presented in such a good way. It's written in such a good style, even though it might be different advice than what we'd give you. But remember, he's traveling in the, the markets where um, people go out and invest in things like uh, artwork and painting and one uh, couple he talked about was buying wine and having it shipped home and never even took it out of the case. Whereas anybody that I know, um, hopefully any of our watchers aren't uh, using any type of intoxicating spirits, but uh, um, the people that I know that do use that type of thing, they go out, they buy them a bottle of Thunderbird, and they go home and drink a bottle of Thunderbird. It's not going to stay in the bag. It's not going to stay in the case. And most of the people I know that are buying the, the high high-end wine from our perspective, they're going with uh, Boone's Farm, not with uh, something even higher than that. Boone's Farm is like $2.99 a bottle. And that's as uh, much money as I've ever actually seen anybody spend on a bottle of wine, although I've seen others. And so we travel in different, uh, different circles, and we're talking to a different uh, financial niche. Uh, quite frankly, though, that obviously Going by what he has to say, he obviously knows exactly what he's talking about. He, the author evidently uh, is very knowledgeable. And let's face it, he has more money than I do. And uh, so it's probably something that you should read and use that for opening up discussions and dialogues with your financial advisors. Uh, thank you very much. Why Like us if uh, you would here on uh, this channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you would. Drop us an email at gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. And we thank you. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. This is an FTC required notice. How to Manage Your Monkey is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program, an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon.com. Well, Gindy, uh, did you read the book? Yes, I did. What did you think? I think I just told you. Oh, okay. Um, should I read the book? I think it would be good for you to read the book. But I don't have any eyeballs. Well, I know you don't have any eyeballs. I'll uh, read it to you. Good, Gindy. Why come you didn't read it to me the first time? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more Hamlet, please drop Gindy an email at gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. And we thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.